look up the kingdoms of this world he didn't show jesus 30 story building he didn't show jesus uh, the tallest building in dubai those are not the kingdoms of this world no those are not the kingdoms of this world the kingdoms of this world are the hearts of men he showed jesus people's hearts and said can't you see i live inside all of them i reside in their hearts i am the one in control of the human race can't you see i own humanity because adam handed over humanity to me then he said jesus if you kneel down now and worship me i will give you their hearts jesus said, look at you i know how to get it without kneeling down to worship you i will not do what my father has not allowed my father has not allowed me to kneel down and worship you to get the hearts of men my father has a better way of getting me to get the hearts of men what jesus was simply saying is to get the heart of men i am ready to die to pay the price to take man back i will not go through the shortcut i will go through the long route i don't know if i'm talking to somebody here so when jesus died that death paid the price for the heart of a man to be stripped of satan's authority i don't know if i'm talking to somebody that is why when the message of his death his burial his resurrection is preached a man's heart is delivered i don't know if i'm talking to somebody see the message of hellfire cannot deliver a man there is no power in the message of hell the message that carries power is the gospel what is the gospel the death the burial and the resurrection the moment a man hears that faith faith is injected into him and because faith has entered him even if he's an atheist he starts believing see the power to believe is not in a man the power to believe is in the message so until a man hears the message he is not saved even if he came out for altar call 30 times it's not altar call that saves a man if you like sleep on the altar for one year you are not saved until you hear the message what message jesus died for what sin he was buried for what sin on the third day he rose for what sin so right now your sin is paid for if only you believe when a man hears that an injection of regeneration has been released into him am i communicating when he believes that in his heart and confesses that with his mouth he is saved until that happens he is not saved If I stand there and I begin to talk about hellfire is very hot. When you enter hell, even worms, they will be moving on your body. Fire will burn you, but you cannot die. It's very hot. If I finish all that and I say, come out and be born again, and you came out crying, you are not born again you only came out of fear and fear does not reproduce sons you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear but the spirit of adoption we are back you cry so with the heart man believe it you must hear something that carries with it faith it's not how many people gathered on the altar on the altar call the question is what did they hear that brought them to the altar that's why he says how can they believe on whom they have not heard so salvation is in the whom 
salvation is in a womb and for a man to be saved he must hear of that whom is in a person salvation is not in a church that's why you don't say this is my mother's church i cannot leave my mother's church no church died for you if in that church the womb of salvation is not revealed get out it's not a church it's a social gathering what defines a gathering from another gathering is the subject matter after all this is not only the place where people gather people gather in stadiums for rally people gather in stadiums for political campaigns people so that a people gather doesn't mean salvation is there the difference from one gathering with another gathering is the subject matter what are we discussing what are we discussing if we're discussing business entrepreneurship that's not a church that's a business school <laughs> only jesus can save hallelujah. only jesus can save hallelujah. you don't know it eh? I know it. <laughs> you only know everything now double double oh. <laughs> how can they believe on whom they have not heard and how can they be saved except they hear about the whom that they didn't hear about from a preacher that is sent romans chapter 10 verse 12 for there is no difference between the jew and the greek for the same lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him next verse for whosoever it doesn't matter where you came from it doesn't matter your past record whosoever shall call upon the name of the lord what shall happen shall be saved shall call on what the name of the lord not shall cry for his sin not whosoever shall lament and wear sackcloth and ashes whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved next verse how then shall they call on him not on it in whom they have not believed and how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard and how shall they hear without a preacher how because for a man to be saved he must hear about him so there are many altar calls that produce false conversion false conversion because it's clear for a man to be saved he must hear of him not it not 666 have you heard of 666 ah, 666 so you have not heard of 666 the american chip they're already producing it people are just full of stories so at one point is a man saved when he hears when he hears of him why because when he hears of him he believes why because the message brings faith that's why that same romans chapter 10 as he kept that conversation in verse 17 he now says faith comments by hearing then he now explains which kind of hearing hearing the message of christ the message of christ king james says word of god the original text the original greek says the message of christ so without hearing the message of christ faith doesn't come and if there is no faith there is no believing in the heart and if there is no believing in the heart there is no salvation because salvation only comes when you hear him 
and when you hear him his message produces faith for by grace are you saved how through faith how does faith come hearing the message of who christ stand let's close that's where the power is i'm not ashamed for the gospel the gospel doesn't have power the gospel doesn't have power you didn't hear me citizens the gospel doesn't have power why it is so when you hear the message of his death burial and resurrection what are you hearing power to save the gospel is the power of god unto salvation so power to save is in the gospel what is the gospel the message of his death his burial his resurrection for if christ be not risen your faith is in vain you are yet in your sins if you have not heard about his resurrection if you don't know about his resurrection and you say you are a christian you are a liar you are still in your sin what exits you from sin is the message little wonder paul will come to a church and say oh foolish galatians who has bewitched you so that is there is a witch on your pulpit so there are churches where the people on their pulpit are witches and what do witches do they bewitch he said who has bewitched you that's to say you're under a spell somebody's using remote control over you glory to god lift your right hand and say with me very loud i am saved because i had the gospel of my salvation the message of his death his burial his resurrection i believe in my heart i confess with my mouth therefore i know i know i am saved i didn't hear your amen say very loud my sins past present future are eternally forgiven say with me i am eternally saved sanctified perfected accepted forever i didn't hear your amen now say with me there is no more judgment for me jesus took my judgment two thousand years ago he was judged on my behalf i am free i am delivered from the road to come therefore when i think of my future i rejoice because there is no more judgment i thought somebody with a rejoicing voice will shout him no more judgment all my judgment has been placed on christ and you know what god says now when he looks at you i'm not angry i'm not angry so if somebody say god will get you tell him no he got me he got me long ago god is not going to get me he got me already i'm his he's mine if somebody say well god is after you tell him no he's not after me i didn't escape i'm in him he's in me if somebody tells you well god is angry with you tell him no the last time i checked all his anger was exhausted on the cross and after the cross he's no more angry somebody say he's no more angry am i talking to somebody god say i swear god himself god he say i swear i will never be angry with you never god almighty are you hearing me god almighty said what he said i swear i will never be angry in isaiah chapter 54 he said i will no more be angry with you why because isaiah 54 came after isaiah 53 
in isaiah 53 says surely he bore our griefs and carried our sorrows the chastisement of our peace was upon him by his stripes we are healed all we like sheep have gone astray everyone has gone to his own way it has pleased god to put on him the iniquity of us all he has bruised his soul for our sake then in isaiah 54 god now say as this is as the waters of noah just like i swore that i will no more destroy the world with water also by the death of christ on the cross i swear i will never be angry with you i don't know if i'm preaching here wave your hand shout god is not angry god is happy with me i didn't hear your amen now turn to your neighbor tell your neighbor stop performing just accept because some of us are trying to perform some of us are trying to perform tell your neighbor stop performing just be yourself you know there are some people when it's time to pray they are trying to impress god father verily verily i come before you it is written humble yourself under the mighty heart god will just laugh and say what are you you actor what are you acting here stop acting be yourself if you want to pray you cannot find a scripture just say it the way you feel it he understands he lives in you he's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you ask so even when you are thinking god is hearing so make sure you think good things cast down imagination don't think you will die young who am I talking to in this house? Look at me. Nothing is stopping your answers from coming. All those reasons they gave you. 30 steps to prayer answer. 40 steps to answer prayer. Carry them and put in a dustbin. Because God loves you that he gave you Jesus. There is nothing he cannot give you. He that spared not his son. But gave him up for us all. How shall he not also with him freely? The guarantee for answered prayer is Christ in you.